بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم ریگارڈنگ دا کانسیپٹ آف دا ہیئر آفٹر دا مس کنسیپشن آئی لائک ٹو برنگ ان ٹو ڈسکشن ٹو ڈے ریلیٹس ٹو دی آئیڈینٹی آف گاگ اینڈ میں گاگ ناؤ ایز فار ایز دا قرآن از کنسرن اٹ مینشنز دی ارائیول اور دی ایڈوینٹ آف گاگ اینڈ میگاگ ٹو بی اے سائن آف دا ڈے آف ججمنٹ ہاؤ ایور واٹ آر دا ڈیٹیلز آف دس سائن اینڈ آلسو واٹ آر دی ادر ڈیٹیلز ریگارڈنگ دی آئیڈینٹی آف دیز ٹو پرسنالٹیز دس از سم تھنگ دیٹ وی گو ڈسکس ان دس پٹیکولر ٹاک اینڈ سنس دیر آر اے نمبر آف مس کنسیپشن ریٹنگ ٹو گاگ اینڈ میگاگ اٹ از بٹ اپروپریٹ ٹو فائنڈ آؤٹ واٹ اے ٹروتھ اباؤٹ دیم از ناؤ ایز فار ایز دا قرآن از کنسرن دا قرآن ایکچولی مینشنز گاگ اینڈ میگاگ ایز سائنس آف دا ڈے آف ججمنٹ ایز اے پٹیکولر سائن آف دا ڈے آف ججمنٹ ان فیکٹ دا ورڈز آف دس سائن سے دیٹ نیئر دی اینڈ آف ٹائم اور نیئر دا ڈے آف ججمنٹ گاگ اینڈ میگاگ این آن سلاٹ آف گاگ اینڈ میگاگ ول ٹیک پلیس اینڈ دے شیل ایکچولی لانچ این آن سلاٹ اگینسٹ دی ادر نیشنز آف دا ورلڈ سو دا ورڈز آف دا قرآن وچ آر فاؤنڈ سور امبیا وچ ایکچولی مینشن دیر آن سلاٹ آر حتہ ازا فوتحت یا اجوج و ما اجوج و من کل حد بین ین سلون انٹل دا ٹائم ارائز دیٹ گاگ اینڈ میگاگ آر لیٹ لوز اینڈ دے لانچ این آن سلاٹ فرام ایوری ہل So this is what these uh, words of Surah Anbiya says, of course, which means that Gog and Magog, they shall launch an onslaught just before the Day of Judgment. Now, a study of history shows that Noah, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, had three sons, uh, Sam, Ham, and Japheth. Now, as far as Gog and Magog are concerned, uh, they are known to be the descendants of uh, Noah's son, Japheth. And it is also known that they primarily, uh, they were, their original area where they were born and they were, their original country uh, is uh, the areas which, uh, which now are northern Asia. And uh, we know from the book of Hiskiel in uh, the Bible that uh, these two actually uh, were the leaders and chiefs of uh, Rosh, Moscow and Tobolsk. These are the three areas of North Asia. So uh, as far as uh, the details are concerned, we know that uh, this, uh, the, the scripture of Hiskiel as found in the Bible If we study uh, chapter number 38 and 39, we find these details there. Thus, for example, in chapter number 38, verses 1 and 2, the words are, The word of the Lord came to me, son of man, set your face against Gog, the land of Magog, the chief prince of Rush, Masish, and Tobal, and prophecy against them. So these are the words which are found in the scripture of Ezekiel, uh, chapter number 38. Now, as far as chapter number 39 is concerned, uh, the words are, Son of man, prophecy against Gog and say, This is what their sovereign Lord says. I am against you, O Gog, chief prince of Rush, Mesesh, and Tobal. I will turn you around and drag you along, and I will bring you from the north. So these are the words uh, which actually tell us that, uh, the, uh, that Gog and Magog are, are the descendants of, the, uh, of Japheth, who is, of course, a, a son of Noah. And their original uh, area, the original country, uh, the areas of North, uh, North Asia. And from here, they actually immigrated to certain other areas. Just for example, in Australia, in Europe, and in, uh, in America, they, have, they, they migrated to these places and populated them. And now, as far as uh, these being a sign of J Day of Judgment is concerned, we know from the, uh, from the revelation of John the Divine that near the end of time, Uh, they will appear, uh, they, will, they will launch an onslaught against the rest of the nations of the world. And it is said that after the, after the Prophet Muhammad's demise, when 1,000 years will pass after his demise, their onslaught shall begin and uh, it, it shall actually take place. And it will be the time when they had, would have occupied the corners of the world. And from there, they shall launch this onslaught. And it is said uh, in the book of uh, John, the uh, John the Divine, uh, if I read out the, the appropriate passage to you, The words are, when the thousand years are over, Satan will be released from his prison and will go out to deceive the nations to the four corners of the earth, Gog and Magog, to, to gather them for battle. In number, they are like the sand on the seashore. They marched across the breadth of the earth and surrounded the camp of God's people and the city he loves. But fire came down from heaven and devoured them. So this, as this, uh, this excerpt shows that their onslaught shall begin a thousand years, about a thousand years after the advent of the Prophet Muhammad wasallam, And it, it is also known that it will reach a certain height at a certain point of time, after which uh, they would, of course, launch an onslaught. And uh, it is also known that uh, at this time, a fire shall descend from the heavens 
and then it will destroy them. And after that, the day of judgment shall take place. So these are the details which are found uh, regarding Gog and Magog uh, in the Quran and of course in, in ancient Bible history. So in a nutshell, we can say that Gog and Magog primarily are two individuals uh, and they are the, among, from among the descendants of Japheth, who himself is a son of Noah. And these, from these two individuals, uh, two nations were born, and these two nations were, were actually named after, uh, after these two individuals. And near the end of time, near the Day of Judgment, they shall launch an onslaught. And uh, once this onslaught is launched, once it reaches a certain, uh, certain limit, uh, and the, we will, uh, the, uh, the scripture of John the Divine tells us that a fire shall descend from the heavens and it shall destroy them. And after that, the Day of Judgment shall arrive. أقول قولي هذا واستغفر الله لي ولكم ولسائر المسلمين والمسلمات